Good morning. First, I'd like to invite all the young and the young at heart to come forward and get comfortable at home for a time for all ages. So this morning we're talking about the words we use to name our experience of the holy, which is a little bit like the question of what is the true name of God? And the UU religious educator, Mary Ann Moore, wrote a wonderful story about just this. It begins, once upon a time, when there was a boy and a girl, they would always argue about everything. One day, they started to argue about what is the real name of God. And the boy said, I know that the real name of God is Father in Heaven. And the girl said, oh no, I know. The real name of God is Mother of us all. And they argued back and forth till finally they realized that they were going to need to go and actually find God to ask and figure this out once and for all to settle this dispute. And so off they went on a journey. And on their way, they encountered some people who were coming home from the market with food. And they said, oh, hello, could you please help us? We're trying to find the way to God because we need to ask God God's true name. And the people said, ah, oh, well, you're going to need to, to keep going all the way to the end of the road. But there's no need for you to go because we know the true name of God is giver of life. The boy and the girl said, okay, well, thank you, but I think we're going to go ask just the same. And so the people gave them some fruit to take with them on their journey. And off they went until they came to a river. And in the river, there was uh, some people in a boat fishing. And they said, oh, excuse us, we need to find the way to God, to ask God, God's true name, can you please help us? And the people in the boat said, oh, sure, well, you're going to have to cross the river, but you don't need to do that because the true name of God is the hidden one. And they said, oh, well, thank you, but we'd, we'd still like to ask. So the people in the boat said, okay, well, we'll hop in and we'll give you a ride across the river. And so off they went. And when they got to the other side, they thanked them and went on their way. Then they were walking and they came to the edge of a forest and they found some people there and they said, excuse us, we need to find the way to God, to ask God, God's true name. Can you please help us? And the people said, ah, well, you just have to go a little bit deeper into the forest, but you don't need to ask because God's true name is the protector. And they said, well, thank you very much, but we're going to ask just the same. And so the people gave them some blankets to keep them safe and warm. Well, they went into the forest and it was starting to get dark. And so they, 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 uh, they actually got out their blankets and they had their, their fruit and they, they went to sleep under a tree. In the morning, just as the sun was coming up, they heard a voice. And the voice said, Hello, I am God. I hear there are some children here wondering what is my true name? Please, what do you think it is? 
And the girl said, well, I know that your true name is mother of us all. And God said, ah, yes, it is so. And she jumped up and down. She was so excited. And then the boy, he was a little disappointed. He said, well, hold on. I thought your true name was Father in Heaven. And God said, yes, it is so. And he said, ah, I told you so, told you so. And then they thought for a second, well, we can't both be right. What is your true, really true name? And God said, People call me many names, but that any name that is spoken with a loving heart, that is my true name. Ah, oh, and at this, they, they finally understood and they thanked God and they went home and they never argued again about the true name of God, but they did argue about who was the bravest on the way home. The end. And so I just want to leave you with this one simple question, which is when you reach out and when you use your words to name the holy that you experience, what words do you use? See you soon.